Yo guys, another siege video. I get out spit and then I cut though, but he's not in tune, but that's the one. Getting out spit is not good. Ah, such a punishment. Ah. Uh, this team works most of the time. The only thing you have to take care of is that you don't get out spat. If you get out spat, your galleon might die, and then it could be kind of dangerous. You do want to outspeed, but my Tiana is currently pretty freaking slow, and that's an issue. Then, the typical team, always in there, always gonna be in there. I've seen it fail. There are some videos where I failed with it, but it does not fail that much. A team we don't get to fight too much, actually. Ryu, Savannah, Perna. It sounds good on paper, but in the end, Ryu is often not performing that well on defense. And in this case, it did decent. He actually did land a decent amount of things, to be honest. Maybe he has max uh, Aki, because this team is pretty much well, besides Perna, max resistance. <clears throat> but, yeah, I don't really see losing this. The Felagio is pretty nice. Been using Felagio a bit more. Also an RTA. It's a nice unit. Yeah, Valagio is one of my more recent units out there, but... He's not the greatest. He's definitely not the best in the meta. There's some niche plays for him in RTA, but... I think in Siege he's pretty good. He would be mostly good with, for example, Feng Yang. Don't have a Feng Yang. I also don't mind not having a Feng Yang too much, to be honest, but... Look at how much trouble it is to actually just kill a Ryu. This thing is hella laggy though. Why is this thing hella laggy? Every time I try to hit it, even with Oblivion, Oblivion barely does anything. Like, Oblivion is just like... The moment it's gone, he has his passive back up. That's, that's pretty much what it is. It's, unless you're proking, it's legit just what it is. Okay, a little bit more of a risky team, but I think it's mostly still good. So hitting the Clara, so Clara is pushed back and doesn't strip, but well, there's nothing really much that much to strip. But also because she doesn't have perfect AI then to actually land her stuff. Kind of works. I also, I uh, kept the Miho artifacts on of high damage from low HP. They actually seem to work pretty well. I think I'll keep them on. Like if you haven't seen that, that's one of my last videos, or I think it's the last video right now, of Up Your Artifact Game. And it works pretty well to have uh, Miho on like high damage from low HP, or high attack from low HP artifacts. I think all of these Galleons are max Aki anyway, so the resistance lead doesn't do too much. And the two units on the middle and on the left, they are 100% resist. Didn't really look like that, but in the end, pretty easy one. But I could lose this. You could lose this. I'm using an MSF. Been a while since I used that. They're also a little bit differently ruined right now. And for some reason, my Shine Out spat an Orion on the speed lead. I was like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? And then we one tap that. We one tap. Oh, almost one tap that. We one tap. We two tap that. Cool. I was too lazy to even S3 with Fran. The team was hella dead. This, this team just hella hella died. Yeah. Twins do too much damage on artifacts. And then I was like, why not mirror it? <laughs> because I already, we already won the siege. I already don't care. Let's just, let, let's just mirror. Let's see how that goes. Let's see. Like you can totally lose this even if you have way better runes. You can totally lose this by uh, getting Luxacked. Because the moment the one that procs more is probably going to win. But if I kill one unit in the first turn, there is no coming back for him, pretty much. It becomes really difficult to come back from that. And actually my Triana did a lot of damage on the Triana. It's pretty funny. Because I kind of expect Trianas to have reduction from either, either fire or from wind. And still I do like quite a good amount of damage with the Triana. Funny build on that Triana. One of my three Triana, so you never know, you never know. Yeah, it's always good for Siege to have multiple Trianas. I think it's one of those units you just have to build like a whole bunch of times. And it's just a four star, it's not that bad. It's not that you are being asked to like build multiple two A's. Because the moment you have to build multiple two A's, I'm like, ooh, that's why you cross the line. I'm not going to do that shit. But multiple 4-stars, at some point you're gonna get them. Like, sure, you, you gotta play for like quite a while to get multiple 4-stars, multiple skill-ups, and all of that 
kind of Gucci stuff, but if you play long enough, you are gonna get there at some point. So I did similar team with uh, Triana before Triana Sion, and I just wanted to test something else. In case I would have used all of my Trianas, well, I have three, how big are the odds, but against this team, just let's see if you use Halfas or actually Sion would die. This Sion is on a reasonable tanky build, but the thing is, he's not gonna die that much because of his passive. At some point, Halfas just gets his passive up. Halfas could potentially die at some point, but the moment you land your bombs, it's pretty much Gucci. Like, let's say you would miss like all three of your bombs. Yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. But if that's not the case, this is mostly an easy win. But you know how you can also fight it. You just mirror it. And then you just pray that you stun more than they do. <laughs> Clara is such a risky unit for offense. Like if she stuns everyone like that, sure, it's really good. But so often I use this team in normal guild war and then I just stun one or nothing or... I strip half of it and then nothing happens and then this is such a risky this is so so risky as an offense we got one of those one of those what's well, laggy one of those i bore you to death but it always works so i always keep using it this is one of those teams i'm using every siege the simple fact is the moment if you have kamun in there you just bring Amelia Bolvrig. Bolvrig gets a shit ton of stacks you just kill something with molong or skogo and it always works. I should actually put uh, Molong on Vampire. I think that would be better. Like Vampire and then have like high additional um, life draining artifacts. So he barely loses any HP. Because the moment they start focusing one unit, they have potential to actually get it. Well, I've showed in other videos, you can easily like 2v2 with this team. Sometimes even, well, no, like the moment Molong kills something, it's already the 2v3. And then you make it 2v2 because they kill Molong because he was low HP. That happens sometimes, especially if he gets heal blocked by uh, a Kamun. But man, this team always works. And then for the last one, we're going to throw uh, some LDs at the equation and just see how it goes. <laughs> On paper, this is actually not that bad of a team. But this is, there's, there's so much chance. If he would have actually cut there and S3, I would have already lost. Like if the Molong would have S3, I would have already straight up lost right off the bat. So is this a really good team? No, <laughs> no. Is it a fun team though? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Like who doesn't like LDs, right? 34K, that's a lot of damage on him. <laughs> More on him than on me, to be honest. Yeah, this figure is double HP. I think it's speed HP HP. Speed HP HP, yeah. I thought that for a second I saw it. said it three times. But you can't put that many runes on the unit, right? Wild blow! 27k wild blow, not bad. But figure is mostly low defense. That is true. That's why you need defense-based artifacts on figure. Always helps out. Weak damage. Monkey, you have, what, 70, 80 crit rate? The crit rate bug is still in the game. Why is it still in the game, by the way? We're halfway in March. It's so, like, first patch in March. And then they had the cocky issue, so therefore it was pushed back. But, yeah, if your first patch in March is equal to, like, the last day of March, it's still the first, technically. Well, it's actually technically not anymore because they already did another one. But, yeah. And Nikon just needs a buff. I don't know what, I, it just needs something. Maybe give Soul Protect also if you revive someone, I don't know. I don't know. Nigong needs something, it's just a boring unit. Well, I think most of the revivers are boring units. But, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I would like to see uh, him get some buff, but of course any unit I have, I would like to see some buffs. Hella biased on that. But I think it's one of those units that is pretty fair to get a buff. Because every reviver has been buffed so far. Pretty much name a reviver. It's probably been buffed towards like AoE revives or anything. And then Nigong already the AoE revives. And he does nothing more right now. And as you can see in the top corner, we got 10 wins. Duke, 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 duke. One of those sieges. I wasn't necessarily tryharding, but at least I was. Well, I, I went in. Still went in with risky teams. But I tried to mix it up a little bit. Sure, I always have my teams that I always use the MSF, the uh, Sierra Gianna, 
Savannah, the Wolfric uh, Amelia comp. But besides that, I try to mix it up here and there a little bit. If I can, maybe I'll try for a next siege to use teams that I don't use at all. That's actually pretty difficult. I do have a lot of units ruined up, but it's all for roll boss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 getting close to 30 mil on the first roll boss team. That that's what I'm working on. So yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you here. See you in the next one. Let's hope we have like a little bit more of like a pressure siege. So after bring in more good teams and then hard counters and then we lose some, we win some, but we actually win all and pa 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 pa. But yeah, see you in the bye.